Hey guys, welcome to the 30th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use the keyword abstract. So, all you're going to need for this tutorial is a button and a class. And inside of our class right here, we have two public static um, fields and we have a public static method. So, we do not have to create an instance of this class. In fact, there's no real reason to create an instance of this class because we cannot even access anything inside of the class because everything inside of it is static. So we can just access it by doing the class name and then dot and now we can access everything inside of it. So to prevent someone from being able to create an instance of this class, we can mark the class as abstract. In order to do that, you just want to put the abstract keyword in front of the class. So we just do abstract right here. And now if we try to create an instance of this class, we're going to get an error saying um, we cannot do that. And it says cannot create an instance of the abstract class or interface by namespace.myClass. So just as we expected. Since this is abstract, we cannot create an instance of this abstract class. And as you can see, it's very useful when you have out, um, everything inside of it being public and static. Alright, so that's pretty much all there is on abstract classes. However, I'm going to show you how to apply it to um, members. So, you can create abstract members, such as methods, um, properties, indexers, and events. So, if we were to um, make an abstract um, method right here, let's call it show message. Then, since this is abstract, we um, must provide some sort of um, access modifier on it. It cannot be private. So we have to make it either public or protected. So I'm going to make it um, public for right now, but you could mark it as protected as well. Also, since this is abstract, you cannot provide um, implementation for it. So if we try to do this, we'll just get an error saying, cannot declare a body because it is marked as abstract and the body is just um, these things inside of the parentheses right here even though there's nothing inside them we still cannot do this we're, instead we're just going to have to use a semicolon so now when we build we shouldn't get any errors yep. and usually what this is used for is to be overridden in a um, derived class so if we were to create another um, class here call it my second class and inherit from this base class, my class, then we could um, override this um, this um, method right here and as you can see it shows up right there. So now we just click enter and it will type it all out for us and it will auto type out the um, signature right here so we don't, we don't mess anything up. And now we can provide implementation for it. We'll just have it display um, a message box. And we'll have it display um, a message box of the string that the user passes through. Also, if you have any abstract members inside of your abstract, inside of your class, the class must be marked as abstract. If we try to delete this right here and build, we're going to get an error saying it's abstract, but it's it is contained in a non-abstract class, so that means this must be marked as abstract. Now in the build we shouldn't get any errors. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial on abstract, so see you guys.